Thank you, Thank you for your service. Isn't he really dead? Yeah, yeah. And the dreaded, what was his name? The dreaded. Oh, so I could never say that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The dread Dormarmo. The dread, yeah. A lot of people put in dreaded. They call that extra the... syllable, but you lose the rhythm of it, and you'd understand that. The pacing, yeah. And yeah. what about Silver Surfer, my main man? Yeah, he's one of my favorites. Um, actually, I created him in conjunction with the artist, Jack. I would give a plot to the artist, who would then go and uh, go home or to whatever little ingle nook he worked in, and he would draw the strip. Then the drawings would come back to me, and I would put the dialogue and the captions in it. And that's the way I worked with Jack. So I gave him the plot about a villain called Galactus, who destroyed entire planets by depleting the energy on the planet, you see. And one day Galactus came to Earth. Well, when Jack gave me the drawings, I saw this nut on a flying surfboard in the story, you see, and I said, who's that guy? He said, well, I figured a guy like Galactus would have to have a herald who goes before him and flies on a flying surfboard. Well, they love the cosmos, huh? Right. But I figured I'm going to take the surfer and write him in a certain way. I'll make him almost biblical in his concept and his attitude. And so was born the Silver Surfer. And he was beautiful. Um, you stopped doing him now, sadly. Why? I loved writing him so much that I don't want anybody else to write the Silver Surfer stories. This past year or so, I haven't had time to do any comic yeah. writing. So until I get the time, he's going to be in limbo. He's going to be out there. But he's out there, yeah, doing good across the cosmos. Now, uh, you're in England, right, um, promoting the Titans, which is obviously why you don't really have that much time to to, 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 know, to my favorite Silver Surfer. Uh, the Titans is what? The Titans is a new weekly comic which uh, is different and hopefully better than anything that's gone before. And the thing about the Titans is, instead of the book being vertical, you turn the pages this way and you have one page. I've got a book here. Oh, great. There's you the book, see? Titan book. The titan. You hold it horizontally that way, yeah, and, and you, you turn the page that way, and that enables us to put two pages of comic right. on each page of magazine. So it's double so value for money. Exactly. Right. Yeah, as opposed to some very bad English comics which rip the kids off, which I don't agree with at all. Um, so, um, you've done the shows here, you've done some things at the ICA. What are your plans for the future? How do you see it? Well, the English market is so wonderful, and the English fans are so responsive. And they're very devoted to Marvel, yeah. yeah. And I think we're just going to really concentrate on doing more and better things here in Britain. Right. Well, we've got the Spider-Man animated cartoon um, on TV. There's only plans to do possibly a Doctor Strange, a Silver Surfer, or a Hulk, or a, a Thor. I mean, so many, many of them are being considered now. As a matter of fact, David Bowie's wife, who Angie, yeah, Angie, who's who I'm going to be talking to in about two weeks. Great. Right. And I'll be seeing her as soon as I get back uh, to what the What do you do with Angie? She is very interested in one of our characters called the Black Widow, who oh, yeah. occasionally appears in the Daredevil strip, which is in one of our books. And she would like to do a television series in which she would star as the Black Widow. We're yeah. working on that now. Right. I've seen the photographs that she did. Yeah, beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah. Um,